Hello everyone. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about uh, an interesting idea, I think, in terms of marketing, in terms of inbound marketing. This is something that I'm not doing personally, but I know other people who are doing it, including my sister. My sister is not a freelance translator. She is, um, well, she's a type of consultant and she works on her own as well. What she's been doing and I mean, and other people as well, she's created a newsletter a newsletter that she sends out once a week with news about her industry. And the reason I thought this might be interesting for all of you freelancers, for you freelance translators out there, is because it's a good way to keep in touch. It's a good way for to keep at the top of the mind of people, but also to show that you are embedded in this industry. So let's say you're a freelance translator out there. You like people to know you, to keep you in, in mind. Maybe if they don't need a French translator right now, they might need one in the future. So it's good that if when they do need one, you come to mind. So I think a newsletter is a good way to do this. So what you do with a newsletter is every week or however often you want to do it, it can be every month, every two weeks or whatever it is. During that week or during that time period, you keep track of what's in the news relating to translations, languages, stuff like that and you know whatever it might be and then you collect it and once a week you just send out this quote unquote newsletter there are various programs out there where where you can find you know that format newsletters mailchimp is the, is the main one that comes to mind but there are plenty of others out there that help you you know format the email so it can look like a newsletter and also then like mailchimp they help you send it and it kind of tracks who it's been sent to and, and also who opens it who reads through it etc cetera, etc cetera, so that you know what's working and what isn't. So yeah, so I think it's, it's just a great way to keep in touch. Also to show that you're, you're into this, you're into the industry. If you do French translations and it talks about translations, it talks about the French language and stuff having to do with it, then it shows that this is something that really matters to you. And you know, you're always into this world. It's just great for inbound marketing, meaning in terms of marketing, people fi are finding you inbound rather than outbound where you go try to find them because then you'll just be sending this out regularly and every now and then if they ever need a translator they're like oh yeah wait you know we get that newsletter from the translator over there having said that there are a couple things you should keep in mind that i should mention now first of all you can't spam people mailchimp makes you do this and i think most of them will do it that you should have an unsubscribe button at the bottom where they can easily unsubscribe because no one wants to deal with that crap so as long as you can have a one click unsubscribe button at the bottom it should be good also, the emails you send it to, these should not be random emails that you find. These should be people who accept it to be on your list. And the way, so the way my sister does it is when she meets someone, she gets their business card, something like that. She's like, oh, I have, um, you know, I have a newsletter of the industry, stuff like that. Would you mind receiving it? And they say, yeah, sure. Usually when you meet someone, they'll say, yeah, sure. You know, they don't want to be rude. And then, you know, you'll, they'll see that you're not trying to sell them anything. And, but you're just keeping them up to date. That I think is another point. You shouldn't be trying to sell stuff. This newsletter really should just have information on it. Preferably information they can find useful. So if you specialize in say financial translations, then maybe include, you know, tidbits about finance, about what's going on in international finance, you know, about the different countries that have to do with your languages, right? If you do French to English, keep up with what's going on in, in the French, French financial industry, in the British or American financial industry, et cetera, et cetera. Tailor it to however you see fit. I think this is a good method uh, to, to just keep top of mind. And then what can happen is every now and then if they're interesting articles, these people might be forwarding it to other people they know. So as long as you have your your link to subscribe and you know to the newsletter there below and it's very visible and easy to see then you might even get you know after a while start getting new subscribers and then you have this whole new list of people and that's why also it's very important not to spam them you don't want them reporting you you don't want them doing stuff like that but uh, if you keep it friendly you keep you email them with relevant stuff not too often then I think it's a very good way to stay top of mind and it's a very good marketing tactic that you can try. Again, I haven't tried it. So I, um, I'd be very, if you do try it, I'd be very curious to hear how it went, how it goes. If you are trying something similar, please let me know how, it, how it's going. And because I really like to hear about what success you've had with it or, or what issues you've had with it, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and that's it. That was the idea for this video. Um, I hope you find it useful and, uh, if, and feel free to try it and let me know how it goes. Don't forget to subscribe and you'll get more videos like this in the future. And if you did find this video useful, please don't forget to click like because that always helps. And otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.